What's the difference between a successful ferment and mold? Five simple habits. Welcome to Fermentation 101, where we explore the magical world of microbes one bubbly jar at a time. Number one, always keep your ferments fully submerged in liquid. Mold needs oxygen, so submersion is your best defense. If you're brewing wild sodas, regular stirring is key to prevent mold growth. Number two, use the right amount of salt and temperature. A ratio of 2 to 5% of the veggie weight of water creates a brine that supports good bacteria and discourages the bad guys. Number three, always work with clean equipment. Rinse all of your tools with hot water and soap and then let them air dry on a rack. Number four, seal it right. Use a lid, cloth or an airlock to keep unwanted spores out while the good microbes do their magic. This reduces the chance of contaminants introduced by oxygen exposure. Number five, know your floaters. A little surface yeast or harmless bubbles can be totally normal. Mold, on the other hand, is usually fuzzy and colorful white, blue, black or green. Learn the differences between calm yeast and mold so you don't waste food that's totally good to eat. The truth is, mold is super preventable. With a few simple practices, your ferments will stay clean, bubbly and bursting with life.